Welcome back, everyone, for another uh, Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Today we're going to be discussing the J55 from Stratasys. It's a polyjet machine. We're going to go over uh, a couple things. Um, so follow me. Let's take a look at it. All right. All right. So this week I kind of want to discuss the Stratasys J55. Um, it's a polyjet, te polyjet technology machine. Um, as you can see, the, the build tray is actually circular. Um, it's not like the other uh, polyjet machines such as the J750 or 850. Um, it is a touchscreen machine as well. Um, you can take a look at all the materials that you have loaded. Um, you can load up to five materials, uh, model materials, and then also a um, one support material as well. Kind of just wanted to showcase how easy it is to operate. It's uh, honestly, it's a plug and play machine. You simply hit, uh, you send your files from GrabCAD and then you simply hit play on, on the machine. Um, what it'll do, it'll start uh, prepping the machine for, for the print uh, and then it'll start printing. As you can see here, um, what's happening is the, the tray is getting raised. Um, and it'll shortly start printing. So it's a great machine, um, great quality prints. You can do full color on it. Uh, you can do rubber-like mater uh, rubber -like materials as well. Um, let's take a look at some of the parts. Uh, I'll showcase some of uh, the color parts here that I have. So here, as you can see, we did the uh, full color. Um, we did a token, um, it's Baby Yoda. A little bit different size. Um, so this is just kind of showcasing different colors that we can do and different um, part sizes. But as you can see, the full color on the, that token, it came out pretty nice. So here, what I kind of want to just go over is this is um, the J55 and GrabCAD. And I'm kind of, I have four parts, same parts. These are assemblies um, because they have different colors. So we kind of have to select each body type and select the color but what i kind of want to showcase here is basically that it doesn't matter how many parts you have as long as you stay within the width of the head you're not really increasing the time so what i'll do here is i'm estimating the time for four parts um, and you'll be able to see here shortly um, the timing that it takes to print four of these um, and it's basically at two hours and 56 minutes um, what i'll do is i'll take off um, three of the parts um, that I currently have on there and just leave one uh, just to showcase that the time between the one part and the four parts is roughly the same. Um, you know, as long as you're staying within that width of the head, um, you're not really increasing the time on um, different technologies that you can double the time uh, by doing that. Uh, every time you add a part, it's going to basically double that time. Um, with the polyjet technology, as long as you're staying within the width of the head, you're, you're staying within that same timeline as if printing one part. Obviously, when you get into the hundreds, yeah, you're going to increase a little bit, but um, you know whether it's one or four, um, as you can see here, this is finishing up. You'll see that it's going to be the same exact time, which is going to be two hours and 56 minutes. Uh, there you go. Um, you know, Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Uh, hopefully, uh, I was able to uh, kind of give you guys some tips and tricks this week. Thanks. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this week's video, and uh, see you next week. Take care.